I cannot believe what just happened. Demon Slayer actually showed up at Sony's State of Play today. Do you guys know what that means? That means Demon Slayer is a big enough game that Sony is promoting it out there. Demons are definitely coming! Okay, no, denial aside, I was just streaming the State of Play on Twitch and I, I was not expecting Demon Slayer to show up there. So I wasn't ready to record anything, but I did react to it on stream. So what I'm gonna do is pull the reaction from Twitch Gonna show you guys what happens, my surprise and everything, and then we'll break down the trailer. Hey, oh my god, hang on. Okay. What, what? I did not expect this here. A mansion. Is this the place? This is the place. <laughs> I'm scared. It's okay. I'm with you. Drum demon, man. I'll keep you safe. The demon's scent is growing stronger. <laughs> oh. Door. It's just it's teleported. On its own. You saw it, right? Like they're actually ah, doing that in free roaming. Oh, you can free roam with these guys too. Whoever shows up will be my next prey. I'm a demon slayer. Frank Mizuno. <laughs> Thanks, Tanjiro. Tanjiro Kamado. Here I come. And he's wielding me. Some of these animations are like they just stop in place and wait for it to come. Like, so like. There's definitely two levels of animation here, and this is like top notch right here. You see it? Mm. He's not just pretending. He's really out cold. Dude, there's gonna be so many boss fights in this game. Even these minor demons seem to have like unique move sets and stuff. It's crazy. Look at all the demons they designed and don't let us play with. Let's go. I'm not giving up. Show me the room. Show me the room flipping around. Yes! Oh! You can do it. I'll get my hands on that rare blood and reclaim my rightful place among the twelve Kizuki. I never heard the dub for this. I'm a little thrown off by that, but okay. I I want to say like okay. Th this this trailer showed a lower quality of animation. That we hadn't seen yet. Especially like there was a, a shot where Tanjiro was just sitting still. In a warehouse. But man. Ago, very happy that that showed up here. Oh. Okay, I just finished watching the trailer three times. And there's actually not that much to break down. I do want to clarify my comment on like the lower tier animations. Which is something we haven't seen yet. Because obviously when you're showing a game. You show the best that it has to offer. And CyberConnect 2 is very good at doing cutscenes. But it seems that they're also cutting some corners here and there. This first shot is fine. Tanjiro is barely animating. But you are probably controlling the character at this time. This is not the stuff I'm talking about. By the way, I absolutely love that... Rooms can actually switch while you are playing. Like, it doesn't take control away from you to switch the rooms. The environment actually changes around the character you're playing as. That's awesome. This little animation from Zenitsu is something that I, I, I was just, like, losing my mind over the room switching that I completely missed it. Oh, and that kid boo that you saw during the reaction? Yeah, that's just a thing that chat can do on my stream. That's obviously not in the trailer. The Inosuke run is perfect. Uh, it seems like a very satisfying run, but there's not much to say about it. And this is the cutscene that kind of struck me as uh that's kind of low quality if you look at tanjiro like he's not animating at all he's just he's a robot even later when he draws his sword like his face is just not the animation we're used to from cyber connect 2 it's just completely static and it, it has an emotion but that's not how faces work and it definitely feels like a lower quality of animation but then they hit you with a Zenitsu cutscene and it's like, okay, no, these guys, these guys are good. They know how to make animation, but this is not how the game will look all the time. Sometimes it will look like this. And then, yeah, you have the fights against the demons. You have the Zenitsu fight, the Inosuke fight, and of course, the drum demon himself, Kyogai. I love that they're actually going all the way with the room flipping around. Like, I thought they could cut some corners here and there, depending on the budget for the game. But no, they're going all out. Regardless of the animation issues that I, I talked about, these boss fights all look fantastic. And I'm not just talking about Kyogai, I'm talking even the minor demons. Even the minor demons have crafted boss fight movesets, and that's just fantastic. I think playing this story mode is gonna be so, so awesome, because every fight seems like it's gonna be very unique. Now, they may come at the cost of no playable demons, but... 
still in denial. And in case you're wondering, at the end when they show all those little vignettes, those little story moments in little squares, that's exactly the same as the previous trailer, so there's not even any new information there. But out of nowhere we got a new Demon Slayer trailer and I hear something is happening this Sunday? I wonder if it's more of this, or if this was actually the thing that was supposed to happen this Sunday, but they didn't want to announce it for State of Play, I don't know. Maybe something's happening this Sunday. But what did you guys think of the trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you more excited for the game now? Are you less excited? Are you still not getting it because no demons? Let me know all that stuff in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku, and I'll see you next time. Bye!